Okay, so out in the barn, as you can see, the clear tables are no longer clear. We're actually doing some of the component stuff first, and we've gone a bit crazy getting all the books and stuff, all the trait gear just sorted out. But anyway, that's not the subject of today. The subject of today is this box here, which has this cover on it, and I'm doing this so I can quickly, easily pull the cover off it and show you what we're actually looking at. Now, I can tell you this much. Number one, I'm no amplifier expert on old... Um, QQE 640 amps. Now, um, that bit I can tell you because I've already cheated and had a look. These two transformers, hang on, one transformer. Let me have a look here. I thought it was two just by the weight. Transformer there. Oh, there's another one there, sorry. So it's, there is two, but actually I was looking at that. Um, okay, these two transformers must weigh a ton. This thing's got to be 40, 50 kilos. I dragged it over and I just thought, oh, you're kidding. Anyway, in here, um, and I'm looking for someone knows a bit more about it. I'm just going to try and, oh, hang on, just bring this over. I'm going to try and track down some more information. The light in here is probably not good enough to get a good look at what this label says. I thought it said 160M version or something in here. Um, yeah, see just there, one, type 160 point, oh, one, one, that means nothing, um, I'm sure. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to turn something on my, off of my phone there. So to take some tablets. And the good thing about being on drugs is... Uh, Got to take them at the right time, but as soon as I get inside, I'm sure Sam will remind me. Okay, so let me just take this over so it sits there. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. It looks like it's going to stay there for at least. So from what I can see, yeah, uh, definitely 240 volts in. Um, I've just taken the little, um, they have these little knurled um, fellows that go in, screws. Just taken that off, and that's where I was able to find. For all this weight and for the enormous size of this thing, um, I've got to be honest with you, I was expecting to see bigger valves than uh, QQE 640s. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but, 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 they used to use them a lot. Um, but I'm thinking from memory, um, not huge, huge output at all. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if anybody's got any clues on uh, if they've seen one of these amplifiers before. Um, I've got QQE 640s in stock. I noticed in the trip one of them's uh, come a little bit adrift. Um, so we'll replace that QQE 640. Uh, I've got... Just a few. Um, oh, and the relay cases came off uh, over here, but I've got those in the case, so that's good. So we didn't really do too badly. But, um, yeah, this here, very interesting. They've got all your metering, current, etc., And you can even reflected power. Now, that's a, probably a giveaway there. Forward power, 100 watts. Now, if this whole thing is 100 watts uh, total, which with QQE 640s, it <laughs> could be the case. Hang on, let's let me bring this back over again. Um, don't laugh. Because I don't remember QQE 640s being mega valves. I, I thought they were 75, 100 watts, you know, sort of tops. Um, but, um, yeah, well, there's our cases that come off the, um, the relays down there. But, um, yeah, this is more a... He had, well, sorry, he, David, um, had this set up. And this is um, VK5Z00. Uh, he actually had this set up in a rack, and he had a lot of stuff feeding into it. Now, I'm going to have to work out just exactly what went with what. Now, fortunately, I took some photos and things, so that's good. But if the you know the whole benefit of doing all that was to get 100 watts output, you know, you might just give that a, a short miss. Um, but he was active on a lot of different bands, so I don't know. And unfortunately, Wayne the Sun wasn't radio orientated, so you know he was going to put all that to scrap, as I think you've heard me discuss. So, I mean, look, better than scrap, but <laughs> still a bit of working out what to do. So um, if you've uh, seen one of these before, I'm, just, I'm, I'm probably ultimately curious where the heck one uh, was used, uh, because it just seems like a lot of trouble to go to uh, for... See, yeah, it's a bit hard to sort of determine because they're talking forward power of 100 watts. They've got a meter that reads to 100. And it just seems like if your forward power out of this amplifier was a whole 100 watts, this is a hell of a lot of work to go to <laughs> to get 100 watts. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm having a feeling that uh, this must be some sort of very heavy duty. Look, I'll just walk over to where the rest of the mess is. There were a couple of bits just for you um, older valve guys uh, that have had a bit to do with this. He was running this system over here into it as well now he had this might be some clues here yeah i'm not sure that was actually with it now i'll have to check my photos just something doesn't look 100 percent right about that but oh now that's interesting i didn't even think about that huh he might have been doing 100 watts on two meters 
and QQE 640s uh, would work up to two metres, I reckon. So I wonder if that was his drive. Um, and I know this is VK3 ZTN, so I'm not sure what the background is there, but that was all connected up through it. And I'm thinking, this is an old, this almost looks like a, because you can see the two coming through there, there's over to there, where's it go? All right, <clears throat> excuse me. This may be a little AM uh, trans transceiver uh, that's been put together in the, the dark old days. Don't know, but anyway, uh, as you can see, we've still got a lot of stuff to go through. We've just made a bit of a, a little dent just to be able to walk in here, so that's good. But uh, yeah, if you know anything about those, or I might as well put this in the same video. I was going to put some photos up on the web, and I'll probably still do that. But interesting how these work and what band they work on, I don't know. But as you can see, um, well, this one's probably a better example. He's got this roller system here with indicators, etc., etc., which is lovely. And of course, that's all working in there. So that's moving back and forth in there. And you can see that oh, right in there, just sort of coming back and forth there. This little Jennings uh, fella. Uh, this big valve, which would probably help if I could tell you what they were. Um, I reckon they'll be the same in each one of these. Uh, yeah, they look the same, but uh, unfortunately I'll have to undo some screws and bits and find out just exactly what uh, they are. This one looks a little bit worse wearing the fact that it, it's got it had a bit of weather on the bottom. The other two, pretty good actually. Um, very good. So it will be interesting to see just what he was up to here. Um, it's, um, these, were, these were sort of ones that he hadn't completed. That, that was fairly obvious. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, I'm, I just haven't really had a lot to do with these um, and once again same thing on this one here where just a different knob they use with an indicator uh, oh it's the same system but yeah yeah um, but um, yeah that needs a bit of bit of doing up actually <laughs> not as much play with that one um, or is that just it's undone might, yeah, might be anyway do not look to me to um, show too much intelligence now iMac on the side of that one right in there there okay wouldn't it be nice if we could see a number um, by the way, I uh, did short these out, <laughs> just in case. I mean, they probably haven't been started up for years, but uh, I did short them out, just in case. I'm terribly scared of valves. Um, now that, yeah, I can't really get in there, not without taking those screws off. Uh, that, that one screw there. Oh, I'm curious. Hang on. Okay, so I'm no valve expert, and I'll tell you what proves that. Number one, I took the screw off there when that is just, a, you know, it comes off the cap of the valve. So here we go. So that would have been a faster way to uh, pull that off versus taking the screw out. Okay, so now that I've shown how much of a complete idiot I am, so they're 4-1000As, iMac 4000-1000As. Now I've got quite a few boxes of those. Um, and um, check out the, yeah, I've not had much to do with them to be honest. So um, uh, at least we know what's in there. So all these boxes have got 4-1000As in them. So all very nice. Um, I'm carrying it across so that even if I drop it or something goes wrong, you'll even see the mistake. I hate editing videos, but I also hate showing you dropping valves I suppose too but um, yeah so that there's the the big uh, spot where it fits in I might wait till I've got two hands to do that to be honest um, but uh, yeah so these three amps have got four 1000 A's which I, I would have to think these have all been you know sort of um, for different bands now and when I say that HF bands just looking at these this looks you know all HF but different bands um, and so these have been run I would say as mono band amps but I just don't know quite where. Um, uh, this is where possibly even looking at some of uh, David's um, David Stackpole's um, QSL cards it might be a clue as to what bands he sort of favoured you know sort of because um, whilst it looks like these were kits etc um, that he was building up um, I know that he was I, well either him or um, uh, VK5MS was actually running some monoband amps, but they, I did see some civil aviation amps uh, sitting in some of the containers, which I didn't uh, bother getting. They're just too big for me. Uh, and I just sort of thought someone else can have those. I'd actually paid for them, but I thought, oh no, too heavy for the trailer. It was getting silly. But um, uh, so please, if you want those, um, just get on to Wayne. Uh, there's two 1000 watt um, civil aviation amps sitting there. They've been a little bit ratted, so don't let me oversell it to you. Um, but yeah, okay, so so that's, um, here's the front of these um, three amps. Uh, so he was obviously setting up for sure. I mean, they're, you know, really, uh, well, obviously, you know, older design, the way they've done it. But um, certainly, 
you know, you can, your plate voltage meters are good. I mean, 1500 volts uh, tops there. What's he got over here? 1000 volts here and 5 kV over here. Now, we've got some really big supplies here and this is the problem. I don't have a lot, lot of knowledge with some of the stuff. So, hence, my video is really reaching out to uh, some of the old timers out there who play around with this stuff because... Um, uh, it's it's probably not for me. I, I'm not even going to tell you that I'm going to attempt to um, try and get these going and put them up um, up and running, um, especially this one. If I, but this one, the more I'm thinking about it, what if this was a two meter amp that he was just feeding a homebrew um, into it, and uh, and then you know getting his hundred watts on two meters out of this big fella? Um, I could show you a whole lot of solid state ways to do that with a lot less weight, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, but the QQE 640, I'm pretty sure, yeah, got up to VHF. So um, that sort of makes a bit more sense, especially seeing that little AM transmitter that was sitting over there. All right, well, there you go. That's a bit of a look at just what's um, what the go is with uh, some of this. And um, there's lots more. <laughs> but I just thought I'd do a little, little sort of video. Um, this is going to take me just... Uh, I've got to get some of this sorted. I, I thought I'll do the hard stuff first. And the, the goal will be to sort out what we'll be keeping for out what we need. Then there'll be big boxes of stuff that will just go. Um, it's not this time. I'm not storing it all. <laughs> I can you trust me on that. So you'll see some adverts to get rid of you know some of the bits. Obviously we paid a fair bit of money for this, but that's that's not a problem. That's not an issue at all. Uh, but we will be looking to get um, rid of some of this. It's not really our uh, cup of tea just to uh, say goodbye to, so we can get a bit more space. Um, I noticed before, things that don't even remotely, uh, we don't need like 45,000 DVD drives that, you know, um, probably don't even have a value. So if you need a DVD drive, pop past and see me. Um, <laughs> I'll give you one. Um, uh, we're not going to post a lot of stuff this time. I've got to be honest, um, uh, I've just, I've got to get some of the radio stuff out of here. Um, so some of the small stuff in that, no. Um, but if you can get here, um, absolutely, you know, you can help me clean up. Um, you know, we'll put you on labour rates or something, uh, child labour though. Uh, but um, yeah, but we'll just get through. You know, what's uh, what's got to get, be got through. Um, and yeah, the, the, look, there's a lot of stuff that um, obviously won't fit into the criteria of what we do. So um, we'll just um, we'll just see if there's other people that are interested in some of those bits. And everything else just goes to the tip, unfortunately, because that's where it was going before I got to it. So I suppose some of it might still be destined to do that. All right. All the best. Uh, that oh, by the way, <clears throat> you heard me mention there was an antenna. The two boxes there. That's the uh, Tet Mtron antenna. You can see the branding on the side there. Pretty sure it's 20 meters. Could be 15. Got to check it. But if you're interested in the 15 or 20 meter beam, give me a yell because um, Wayne, that was sort of outside of our deal, and I gave him some money for it. And I just said, look, mate, you know, sort of the chance of you getting rid of it. I'll um, um, I'll see what we can do with it. So, um, and we gave him some real money for it, by the way, too. Um, he sold a tribander, which. Um, <laughs> brand new tribander, $150. And I said to him, I, I won't tell you what I paid for that antenna right there, but I'll tell you I paid uh, quite a bit more than $150 because I just felt like, oh, uh, you know, no, you've got to do the right thing here. This is um, um, this is brand new in the box. And so was the tribander. So anyway, as I said to Wayne, you know, swings and merry-go-round, don't worry about it. I mean, you know, um, it is what it is. Oh, the other thing you want to fire up too um, on the 7 megs, see if we can get this thing going. Um, wouldn't it be good to get this old Collins going on uh, 40 metres? Uh, I, I think it'd have to be a shed item for the rest of my life because there's no way I can fit it anywhere else. But um, there you go. 32 RS1. I haven't even looked it up yet, to be very honest with you. I've just been, um, uh, well, to be honest, I've been a bit um, obviously uh, busy with uh, mum dying on Tuesday and there's been a lot of uh, things to get organised, bits and pieces. I actually came out here tonight because we just did the funeral arrangements and I thought, if I can just get out here and just just do a few things and not think about, you know, sort of some of the tragedy that's happened and... Uh, and I think that's the thing, us us amateurs. It's what we do, isn't it? You know, sort of um, we uh, we just distract ourselves. Uh, this is the old. Um, oh, get that out of the way. Uh, I think we showed this before. Uh, well, we briefly went past it. We've got a couple of these old Kingsleys, um, and they have all these heavy modules. You know, that go into them. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, they really <laughs> are heavy. I had to lift boxes of these things. So um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll get to all that, but. Uh, uh, see there again VK3ZTN so see that's the thing I'm starting to that's the one cool sign I don't I'll have to look up and find out because obviously VK5ZOO that was David um, and he's obviously ended up with a lot of VK3ZTNs but obviously he also uh, had bequeathed to him um, all these um, drakes that go here for VK5MS so um, you know some of that 
um, just to be very clear, is, is really two estates. This estate's been sitting around for a number of years um, with the, all the drakes that you're seeing there. And um, uh, that's all um, VK5MS, which he was a huge DXer. Now, if you ask me about VK5MS and which bands he, he liked, well, th that's, that's different um, because, you know, I used to hear him on as a kid and, and um, he ran all these mono band and um, that would be a good story to tell, actually. And I'd probably need someone from Mount Gambia to fill in a few gaps uh, before I go telling stories and get it wrong. But VK5MS, amazing. Um, he was uh, obviously a little bit prone to drakes, as you can see. <laughs> all right, all the best. And, um, yeah, I'll um, probably go inside soon because I've been out here for a couple of hours just having a bit of a play, weightlifting all these things. And uh, uh, these are not too bad, actually. It's a big box over there and the uh, power supply boxes uh, that I've got for some of those other amps that are lying around. So, anyway, all good. Okay, all the best, 73s, VK3, Charlie Mike, um, and Tangamba Langa, northeast Victoria.